How's it going, YouTube? We're here. We're playing some Brawl. We're playing Teclithal. Uh, basically, idea of this deck is we are going to give them a poison counter with either Prologue of the Phresis, Phresis, whatever that word is, and or one of our other little toxic things that we have in Arena, and then we're going to proliferate until they die. We also have some other stuff like, um, uh, well, Strixhaven Stadium can win the game. We have Dark Soul Reactor that can win the game. We have Magistrate Scepter that can get us a whole pile of extra turns. Uh, yeah, let's play some Brawl and see how it goes. All right, and off we go. I'm not sure what they're going to rate the power level of Teclithal as. Uh, seems low. Because I've never fought against this. I've never had uh, any. <laughs> I've never fought against this. So yeah, we have we have our main piece, so we're going to definitely keep. Um, this is actually a pretty quick kill, so that's good. Uh, Astral Corticopia is actually one of the stronger mana ramp cards we have. Uh, Jinn of Wishes, I think, is just kind of funny. I don't think it's good. But we can give it more... We can give it more little wish counters, which is kind of fun. Uh, so we're gonna... Get old... Give them the prologue at the end of their turn. And we got loads of different stuff to do. Alright, we got... They're playing Kickers, which is kind of cool, honestly. Alright, we're gonna play our Astral Cornucopia on one. And we're not gonna play Serpent on one. I think that's a little greedy. Yep, we'll take two. That's fine with us. They're gonna play their little thing. Faceless Haven, we'll play our 3-5. Um, we actually are going to play this on one, because we're going to start proliferating next turn. And that's going to start pumping everything up, making it nice and easy for us to win. Ooh, okay, alright. Not ideal, we will take the action. We'll put it into our command zone. We will block here because we are protection. I don't know if that actually saves a damage or not, but. Um, well, we're gonna play this. We're gonna do this, put a counter on this, proliferate all three of our counters, draw our card, uh, no attacks. Setting us up for next turn that we can play our. Tekuthal, at least. We'll see what weird kicker things they have going on. Uh, oh, what? We we messed up. We didn't proliferate them. Which we definitely should have. Are they going to proliferate them? Eh? No. Alright, well, we're going to block here, so... I don't... I think it works the way I want it to, right? Yeah, we still just take four. That's fine, then. Uh, what are we gonna do? We don't have any proliferate right now, so we could do... Let's do Jace. Just normal. Just normal Jace. And we'll... Kim Tiny. Okay, that's fine. Uh, I think that was kind of a waste on their part, but we'll uh, we'll accept that. We might just start honestly cards bastioning and just start proliferating all our stuff. Ooh, that's a pretty good henge. All right. 
That's a, that's a hell of a card. Yeah, they're all going to attack here. We are going to kill this. No more Gecko. Oh, we traded. I forgot. Doesn't have protection from that. That's fine. Uh, yeah, we got this. So let's shrink him. We will... We'll slam our... We'll slam our good old commander and end the turn. If they try and blow it up now, we can just remove... Uh, creatures playing... Artifacts, yeah, we can actually remove the two primal amulets, M amulets and um, one Jace Mind. Alright, Bladewing is in play. We take some damage. Alright. There we go. Uh, I think we're still going to do it. We'll pay two life, two, and three. Get the Instructable counter. So now... Well, I mean, we're going to shrink him. If we double proliferate... Still not good enough. Um, well, we'll play. We'll play our friend here. Uh, I think we just make a token steel reactor. Uh, no attacks. We are indestructible here, so it's going to be tough for them to start doing things. They're going to really want to kill this time mage. So making them deal with our planeswalker is going to preserve a life total. Uh, okay, dead, that's fine. They might just attack me with everything, which would be bad. Uh, we just dead? Possible. Uh, it is game. That's fine. All right. So they got that. Uh, well, we take it. We take it. They got us. The way it goes. Uh, next game. Pretty cool. Pretty cool little deck there. Uh, we didn't draw... Well, they had to play with fire. Play with fire is what basically took us out of that. But that's okay. That's the way Brawl should be. Nice, quick, fun, back and forth, easy games. We also skipped our proliferate to proliferate our opponent the one time, which was not good. Uh, yeah, we just need to get more of our proliferate cards. I guess we had the best one, which is the land. But we were just on the back foot against the aggro deck for a lot of the game. All right. We got mono red cloning versus mono blue proliferate. Let's see how it goes. Okay, here we go. We got some stuff here. Uh, no blue mana, but we'll figure it out. We got blue mana. We're rocking now. All right, they got Mind Stone, a little jealous. We will put the statue down. Yeah, we also had this, the bad block. I think the bad block was also part of our downfall. Barbarian, our stone, crazy. Got us. All right, well, play this, we'll play this for three. Stop the aggro. It's protection doesn't mean anything in this matchup, but you know, it's nice to have. Yeah, I mean, we're gonna block. They might have a combat trick, but we're still making them use up their cards. Sure. Bone Crusher. Can we still trade? Easy. Not that. Yeah. Okay, well, I'm gonna play this. We're getting there. Perforos is pretty wild. Um, yeah, we just got this down, right? We'll cycle this. Nice. Uh, yeah, we're getting in. 
we might get got by this perforos. Oh, never mind. Uh. Ooh, double triggers? Yep. 14. Yep. Okay. Yep, that's a whole pile of damage. Wow. Alright. Never untap that character again, thank you. Uh, what does this do? Return up to one target creature, planeswalker. Yeah, let's uh pop this down. Make them play their cards. And we will end the turn. Sure, Barbarian class. Okay. Uh, yeah. We just die here. It's awful. Um, I can't get it off of these, so we're just gonna take the seven. Not what we were looking for, but what happens? Bounce all them to their hand. Uh, we will put Serpent back to our hand. Play a land. Uh, what do we got here? Put Ozolith. One, two, three, four. So we'll do this for two. Then we will... Yep. Uh, yep. Yeah. Uh, no attacks. Uh, they get haste. Do they menace? Yeah, they get menace when they roll dice, which is bad. I don't think they can. They can't perforos and wild mage us, so that's a good. Unless they want to sacrifice it. Okay, they're setting up for next turn. Okay, they're gonna draw a bunch of cards. Discard. Sure. Works for us. We'll block. That's fine. Ozolith gets ticked up. Good stuff. We're gonna play Strixhaven. Makes they can't play those. Makes so they can't play five mana cost spells. The non-creature, just anything. They just can't cast spells. Uh, so that's good for us. We will put all of them on this guy, take the action, and we will end the turn. Stay on the defensive. Uh, we, they can't cast three mana cost spells or five mana cost spells. So that's good news for us. Uh, they can throw down Rowdy Crew and keep on with their hasty Wild Mage, but we'll see. We'll see what they do. Oh, we're going to combat? Oh, we will absolutely block with this. Let's see what burn spell they have. Amber Cleave is not what we want to see. Um, is that game? Yeah, that's just game. No, it's not. Yes, it is. Wow. We got cleaved out. All right, so so far, the um, the artifact cycle, the mythic artifact cycle from Eldarain has beaten us both games. But we're gonna go in it. We're gonna keep on going. We're gonna see if this deck can win anything. Who knows? Maybe, maybe if you just play bad brawl commanders like this guy, you just end up getting paired against aggro decks only. But we'll see. We'll see how we uh, go. Let's see if we fight against another red deck or another green green red deck. Okay, we're playing against tokens. This this deck's actually way way better than our deck. What we're de our deck is doing. We have no sweepers. Uh, oh, we have ratchet bomb. Never mind. We might be okay. We'll see how it goes. Uh, this is probably the best card we got in this scenario. So let's see how we do. 
because they're going to be trying to go wide with a bunch of tokens. So our Ratchet Bomb staying at zero is going to be very key. All right, Biomancer goes. Wait and see what they do. Perfect. Uh, we're just going to play Plaza Heroes. We'll smack in. Uh, I think we'll adapt now too. We might as well just get it going. Discard the Surgical Bay. Perfect. Uh, yeah, we're gonna try and get down our guild pack informant. Uh, cause that is when, that's something that's gonna be taken up doing the actual proliferating, then we can get our card advantage going. Never mind, they're gonna play a whole bunch of tokens and then we're not gonna be able to do anything. Um, yeah, so we'll play the gardens. We will play our clock, no attacks. We'll see how it goes. Ooh, Scoot Swarm. It make copy no, it doesn't make copies of itself until you get six lands. Okay. This is fine. Little Rift Skiff. Um Yeah, we'll play Dominus now. And no attacks. If they try and remove it, we will just remove all the counters from the clock. Seeker's Chariot's bad for us. Uh, we will just, we're just gonna drop Ratchet Bomb and blow it up next turn. Uh, then maybe, I wish, if we draw land, we'll, we'll wand. We'll wand, kill Scoot Swarm, blow up all tokens. I think that would be the best play. Because uh, we can't let them just jet near. We're gonna we we lose basically on the spot if that resolves. All right, what do you got, opponent? I was hoping they would attack with Scoot Swarm. But totally kill that, no problem. All right, come on, opponent. What are you doing? Waiting their turn. Good stuff. We're gonna play the wand. This is basically our only out to removal. And we can eventually get more counters on it, which we will definitely take advantage of. Uh, ratchet Bomb. And we pop the Ratchet Bomb right now. And we're just left with Clarion Spirit. And we got, we got the business. Uh, we're not gonna actually attack right now. We do want to start getting some proliferate spells. Um, they might play Jetmir and activate Azekas Chariot, but again, we're just gonna turn into a goat. Or an ox. Ooh, gatherer. Yep. Okay. We will block. Yep. Free block. Works for us. Um, hmm. Uh, let's, let's, let's play the Rift Skip first. Good stuff. Uh, we will. Do you want to blow something up? Mm, yeah, we're going to Pristine Talisman. We are going to get rid of the Gatherer. No more rumors. And we will end the turn. We're fighting towards, obviously, Flipping this midnight clock so we can uh, well, just refill our hand and hopefully get some things that proliferate.
All right, good stuff. Lenoir Alps in play. Uh, if they attack with Chariot, we might just double block it now. Ooh, that's pretty fancy. Okay, so they get a token there. Uh, we really want to flip for eight. Yep. Um, we're not going to double lock. We're just going to block it normal. Yep. Make some more goats. That's fine. Jetmere is starting to get more lethal, which is a problem. Well, we should, I mean, we should have, anim should have animated the rib skiff. Oh, well. Let's see what we draw. Mm, that's pretty good. We're going to cast that. Okay, and we will proliferate all of those and do it again. We get to draw two cards, discard two cards. Discard the sandbar. Uh, ooh, that's good. Actually, we're discarding the gate. Play our land for the turn. Uh, we will come the land. We will play Monoskeleton. And now we have, now we have the goods to uh, to slap their jet mirror on top of their deck with our counter spell. Uh, that was big game. That was good. I mean, they gotta just slam jet mirror, right? Yeah, we're gonna memory lapse that. And next turn we draw new hand. And start to get going. Hopefully, we get a proliferate spell, and then that'll be that. Good stuff. They're keeping them on top. They don't want the extra mana cost. No animate. Can't really attack with anything. We'll just kill whatever they attack with. So, off we go. Midnight clock hitting its final time. All right, let's see what we get. I guess we could have turned the gardens into a clock by the end, but this is fine. All right, here we go. We are going to play Blast Zone. We are going to play this bomb card. We will kill this guy. We will turn something into a 4-4 four four, as long as he remains in play. Uh, we could douse something. But I think we're going to just stadium. Yeah, we'll keep it at four. We're gonna hit our bass zone up to four is the plan. We'll discard Island. And we'll discard Doze. Right, we'll use this. Injector. Uh yeah. So now we just need to give them one poison counter and we should be able to should be able to crush him out of this game. Uh, we'll do this, yep. Then we'll cancel that and do that. Draw two discard two. Uh replicator ring's pretty good. We'll get rid of the retrofitter. And we don't need that right now. Yeah. Uh, we will pass the turn. Okay, we have a token. It's fine. Don't think they need how many? Ten creatures? 
nine or more creatures. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Maybe they will have enough. All right, well, we'll see. We'll see how it goes. Does this one already cast a spell? Yeah, any spell? It's pretty wild. Chirp, jet mirrors here. Uh, and oh, oh, animate. Oh, they passed? Oh, this is pretty good for us. Uh, we might be able to just win. So, we play Karn's Bastion. We... Okay. Just combat damage, put a counter on it. Interesting. How do we do this? So first, we... Pay this. Right? Uh, we'll pay life. Yeah, we'll pay one. one. Uh, yeah, we'll just one, two, three. One, two, three. Commit. Get an indestructible counter. Well, blast them. Good stuff. Eon Flux. Submit all. Submit all. Okay, we'll discard that. Discard Island. We'll play Serpent for three. Yeah, we'll do that. We'll do that. I think we're just going to discard this as for told we don't need it anymore. Uh, Biblioplex is also no gravy for us. Uh, we're going to start smashing in though. It's unlikely they're going to be able to play Jetmir again next turn. Uh, they might be able to, but we have we have blockers at least. Uh, but we win. Doesn't matter. There we go. That's why we play the Strixhaven Stadium, because our opponent doesn't read our cards. Good stuff. Alright, we'll play a couple more. See how they go. Awesome. All right. Back in. Next match. We'll see how it goes. Uh, all right. So I'm, I'm surprised we beat Jetmir. That was like one of the more competitive of the aggressive decks, I think. Um, yeah. I th they should have just... They, they misplayed, but they should have just tapped and made their, um... Turn their artifact into a creature, and then they would have had enough to give it all double strike. So, but, that's fine. Ooh, Ivy. Interesting. Doubling up their spells. Let's see how it goes. Uh, I don't think we're going to get the good value out of this, so we're just going to... We're going to Ruins into the Storm Giant. Okay, we are definitely going to douse that. We can't let them. We can't let them do that. That's silly. It's a shame we won't have anything with counters on it. Maybe, maybe we'll Jace. Throw down Jace. Make whatever they play small. Make their Ivy small, and then go for it. Unless they play two more, or like another creature. Okay, maybe we'll make Stowaway small. Yeah, I think we're still gonna Jace. Uh, we'll make Stowaway small so they can't draw cards. Nah, we'll make Ivy small. We just wanna keep our Jace. We wanna be able to proliferate. Uh, if they have a pump spell, he'll die anyways, but that's just the way it goes. Uh, Darksteel Reactor. Potential win condition. Oh, boy. Uh, Alright, everyone's a big beast. 
That is a dead Jace for sure. We got mutated. And they attack Jace. Brutal. Yep. Not much we can do about that. They have the perfect mutate card. Uh, well, at least they didn't hit that card. Alright, well. Not as good as it could be. Yes, copy it. Oh. They didn't misclick. Alright, we take some damage. They get a loot. Destiny Spinner. Not a bad card. Uh, well, we're just gonna slam this down. Start blocking. Or get countered. Brutal. Alright. Uh, yep. Taking that beating. Not much we can do about it. Alright, well. Flux Channeler. Guild Pact Informant. And we'll flip this werewolf back to where he belongs. Um, we can't really block very favorably, but I mean, I guess we'll. We'll keep one of our creatures, kill the Destiny Spinner. Unless they have a pump spell, but if they had a pump spell, we're dead anyways, it doesn't really matter. Yep, there you go. They killed Flux Channeler. Flux Channeler is the better card of them, but I mean, it doesn't really matter. Storm Drake. Yep, we're gonna play our. Good old Dominus. And uh, he's a 1-1. One, one. That's game. Just a trouncing with that, uh, with that mutate play. But it's the way it goes. Not much we can do about it. Alright. One more game. Maybe we can get a 2-3. Maybe. But, uh, yeah. Maybe there's a better way to build this deck. It could just play a whole bunch of counter spells, I guess. Board sweepers. But, I think playing it not on Arena would probably be a better deck. But, I wanted to see if we had the tools. And now we know. We're unlikely to have the tools for this. But when we do get our double proliferate on it's really sweet especially with stuff like Strixhaven Stadium all right they're smart they'll take astral cornucopia because that's the craziest of the cards Inexorable Tide is like the best of the cards, but like Astral Cornucopia is what is going to make it. Yeah. Yeah, it's just going to go too crazy for them to keep up with if I can get that much mana. Alright, well, let's play. Let's stadium. And then we'll play Inexorable Tide, probably. Uh, they'll likely have a whole bunch of things to... Are we going to sacrifice? No, they're not going to sacrifice lands. Uh, never mind. We're going to play Midnight Clock. We're going to play Hanger Back on one. And we'll start probably just taking up our Hanger Back after we play... Or, or play Inexorable Tide and hope for the best. 
We'll just... Never mind. We're gonna pop so hard. That sucks so bad. We're not gonna play anything anymore. Brotherhood's end. Too strong. Oh, that was so brutal. That was so... Oh, man, what a blowout. Oh, I'm not sacrificing my lands. Alright, well... All right. Wind grace, good stuff. Then bring back their swamp, sacrifice their swamp, loop it again. Yep, we'll take two. All right, play that tapped. I think I will. Uh, we'll, we'll bounce Wind Grace. Um, yeah, we'll attack with one. We, we want to bounce the Wind Grace. They're going to get their land back anyways when they attack. We just rather not have to chump or take five. Yep, Wind Grace is play. That's fine. Yeah. They can't attack with Braids. They can sacrifice their land. That's fine as well. Uh, we'll decline. We are not. We're not playing that. That's right, opponent. What are you doing? Discarding a card. Too many cards. Um. Do we take the cornucopia. I think we do. Right, because then we can. Uh, we can do it on one. Then we can do staff completion. And uh, no attacks. Oh, we can just block. And then we can proliferate twice. I mean, I'm going to block with the flyer. All right. Let's see what they got going on. Smash to smithereens. All right, well. We'll flip. We'll flip. All right. Good stuff. We got lots of mana. Mm hmm. We're gonna sacrifice a land. We're not gonna sacrifice a land. That's okay. We got this. Frostbite is actually a total blowout. Uh, well. What do we do? I think we proliferate. Pay the three life. Yep. Yep. And then we play an exhortable type. Cast this. Yep. Yep. Uh, no tapping it. We don't need to do that. No attacks. We just need to draw some cards. We might actually, if they don't blow up our Astral Cornucopia, never mind. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, it seems like this deck just does not match up against what our opponents have been playing at all. But, you know, we're here to learn. I'm here to show you, so you don't have to build something like this. You don't have to do it. This brawl is to teach you that maybe Pekuthal is not what you want to do. This guy's going to block. And we're gonna we're gonna die and lose and gonna take two. So crazy, so crazy how much damage we're taking. 
and that helps so much proliferate but we're game it's game all right so in the end bring up the deck right in the end we look at this and we wonder to ourselves, where did we go wrong as we wait for the server where did we go wrong uh, the answer probably is not enough counter spells uh, there's a lot of artifact enchantment removal that people are playing uh, when it worked it worked really well there's no recursion really that we have and our value is very one for one unless and like if we could have other colors in the deck this card would probably be totally insane you just play planeswalkers and go for it but as a commander on magic arena don't think it's good as a commander outside of magic arena probably extremely strong super powerful probably loads of different things you can do um but as for what this is and like our limited options of what proliferate we have we just ended up drawing a bunch of cards that deal with tokens that no proliferate or a bunch of proliferate cards with nothing with tokens so or counters and uh that's just the way it goes well thanks for coming by checking out this video smash that like button smash that subscribe button smash the comments bar and say stuff like hey i like and subscribe to this Thank you very much. Have yourself a great day.